Hey guys, me Dave. It's uh, 7-24-2020, so it's uh, Friday night. Having a beer, because it's Friday. So, that's what I'm doing. Um, enjoying the beer. Uh, you know, it does help me sleep. I get to sleep on the weekends and stuff, but... Uh, um, I just heard a noise. It's a coffee pot. Um, but, uh, yeah, so there's not too much going on today. Same old stuff, you know, getting re a lot of remote you know, manipulation and stuff like that. Um, kind of the same old stuff. I got out of, out of the house a couple, a couple times today. I had to gas up the van and, you know, went for a couple little rides. Took Tanner to the park and, you know, did stuff like that. You know, I took him to the park, okay? So, we go, like I said before, we go to a park where no one goes, all right? You know, just nobody goes there. When they don't call the perps there, it's dead, okay? I've lived in this area my whole life. I know that nobody goes to this park. It's just baseball fields. That's all. That's all it is. So, we just walk in the grass a little bit and all this stuff, okay? So, I went there tonight after supper around, well, around 7 o'clock, okay? I went there, there's some guy, uh, had three dogs, you know, he had three dogs off leash, um, and as soon as Tanner seen the dogs, he started barking, you know, started barking at the dogs, so we had to go to a different spot, we went to, it's called Wade Stadium, it's, um, uh, like a little stadium without a roof, it, it's, it, I mean, it's, it's been around for, oh my God, uh, a long time, real long time. Um, you know, so we went for a little walk in the grass and stuff. And, you know, but, but this guy had three dogs off leash, okay? And uh, and he was from Wisconsin. He had Wisconsin license plates. I mean, it's like, come on. You know, the guy, what is he, what is he doing over here at Wheeler Field, you know? So he was a perp, and uh, they always have him there, you know, it, you know, not every time I go, but they, a lot of the times I go, they have people there, um, they're just there, they probably, I don't know, half of the time they probably don't even know why they're there, they're just getting paid, whatever, you know, and stuff, but, um, so that's what happened today, it hasn't been, it hasn't been too bad of a day, but, um, you know, I kind of got to sleep a little bit last night. <clears throat> We're talking four or five hours. Um, and then I had to wake up and feed the dogs and all that stuff. They were remote neural manipulation me all morning. Um, they would not let me sleep. Um, they were doing it for about four or five hours. And then they must... They must have let me get to sleep a little bit. I didn't get out of bed until 3 o'clock. Which is terrible. You know, it's terrible for me. You know? I didn't get out of bed until 3 o'clock in the afternoon. My day was shot. You know, it was shot. It, we had a pretty nice weather. It wasn't too hot or anything like that. It was pretty nice. And, you know, sometimes I like to get out, walk the trails or take Tanner out or whatever, you know, do something. But I didn't get out of bed till 3 o'clock in the afternoon. So they let me sleep a, a couple hours in the afternoon, and I slept until 3 o'clock in the afternoon, which is terrible. You know, my day was shot. It was half over by the time I woke up. I mean, by the time I, you know, gassed up my van and all this stuff, it was... Almost time to feed the dogs and stuff, you know. And so it uh, it's uh, um, that's kind of what happened today. You know, I was on Facebook and all this stuff. Um, you know, I have a lot of friends. You know, I mean, not a lot of friends. You know, some people have five thousand friends. I have almost five hundred friends. Okay. Um. You know, I think a lot of these people are perps claiming the BTIs, okay? Um, you know, you know, I've never heard so much talk about pedophiles until I joined this community, you know? Never. 
they talk about child trafficking, they talk about pedophiles, they talk about, you know, all this nonsense, okay? It's like, it's disgusting. I don't like to hear that kind of talk. When I see that on Facebook or YouTube or something like that, I automatically um, delete and block that person because I'm sick of hearing it, you know? Never hear, I never... You know, they're, they're still posting stuff about Epstein, you know, and all this stuff. You know, that it's like move on with your life, you know what I mean? These people are getting paid to post this stuff, you know. They're getting paid to post this stuff, all right. Um, when you're a real target, you're trying to stop your targeting, you know, if these people claim that they're, they're getting hit and all these bad things are happening to them and all this stuff, if they were claiming all this stuff that's happening to them, why do they post all this nonsense? You know, why do they post all this nonsense? It's because they're fake TIs, you guys. I'll tell you something about perps. They have certain talking points, okay? They have certain talking points they have to hit on. Um, you know, and one of them is pedophilia, you know. Um, another one is rape. You know, they like to talk about rape. You know, they like to uh, talk about the New World Order. Um, they like to talk about... Um, a bunch of nonsense, okay? They have certain talking points they have to hit on. Um, they're getting, these people are getting paid to do this, okay? You know, there's people out there that claim they have master's, master's degrees and bachelor's degrees and all this stuff, but yet they're spreading nonsense in the community. You know, it's happening on YouTube, it's happening on Facebook. You know, if they were getting hit hard... Is they as hard as they claim? They wouldn't have time to talk about this nonsense. They would be on the phone and writing letters nonstop. You know? But they're not. They're talking about nonsense. You know? It just it it's you know, these people are really disgusting. Um you know, and this is what they do, and they do it in my program, too, um, in person. When I was in the fake psych ward, uh, it was full of perps, okay? Um, my roommate was, uh, I don't know what his job was, but he was big in my program, okay? They had a fake roommate in there with me. Um, he would say things like, um, and I'm not trying to be racist, um, he would say things like, yeah, I got raped by 10 black guys, okay? You know, um, this is what they do. Uh, these people are disgusting. I don't know why they bring up this stuff. Probably for reactions. Um, I had a friend that I thought was a real TI. Um, and she bring, brought a lot of this stuff up too. Um, when I was talking to her, she would, uh, say that she was, uh, uh, basically gang-banged by a bunch of guys, a bunch of bikers, you know. Um, this is what these people do, okay? They bring up rape and molestation and all this disgusting stuff, okay? Th these are their talking points, all right? They do it for reactions from us, okay? Because they know we're not like that, okay? So these people bring up disgusting topics. It's what they do, you guys. And there's people out there that claim they have master's degrees, but they bring up a lot of sexual, disgusting stuff, okay? They're perps. They get reactions out of you. There's a lot of, you know, these people have no morals. They don't have morals. You know, they talk about this disgusting stuff all the time, you know. If you're a big, if you are targeted, why aren't you thinking about your targeting? 
you know. It doesn't make any sense to me. You know, common sense. You know, these people are fake, okay. They're fake people, right. So when I see them on Facebook bringing up all this crap, this disgusting stuff that I don't want to see, boom, you're blocked. I never want to hear from you again because you're a disgusting perp, you know, with no morals, you know. You'll do anything for a dollar, okay. So, I just thought I would talk about that. It's disgusting, you know. They know we're not like that, okay. But these people talk about this disgusting stuff, gross things. To get reactions out of us. They get paid to do it, okay? They they flood Facebook. You know, some people sit on there all day and flood and flood Facebook. They're you know, you look at their posts and it's like boom, 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 full of disgusting stuff, okay? They're perps. This this is their job. That's their job, okay? Other people post uh, nothing but cute kitties, okay? So somebody could hop on there and they'll spend all morning and post cute kitties cute kittens okay boom 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 the flood out the feed for good information if you're trying to get good information these people flood out the good information it's their job you know it's just I'm trying to get through to people that that don't believe there's so many perps you know I mean some people just don't believe there's so many perps you know we're flooded with them they're all over the place you know, if you're a real target, you know, they're all over the place. Anyway, I suppose I'll cut this off there. Um, you know, I hope you guys are doing well out there. Enjoy your weekend. Hope you're not getting hit too hard. Um, it's just, I've never, you know, since I joined this community, I've never heard about so many disgusting things um, being talked about, you know. You know. I mean, this started uh, six years ago for me. We didn't, you know, me and my friends and my brothers and my family, we didn't talk about disgusting things like this, you know. Why, why do people have to talk about disgusting things? <coughs> you know? It's just... the perps. And this is what they do and this is what they get paid for. Um, and they are there to discredit us. Um, that's the main purpose. They're there to discredit us, okay? So if anybody looked into targeted individuals and targeted individual uh, community, you know, we would look super bad. They'd be like, why would we help these people? You know, it sounds like a bunch of conspiracy theories and nonsense they're talking about. You know, it's made to make us look bad and not get help. That's the bottom line, you know, so. Anyway, I'm going to cut this off, you guys. I hope you have a good weekend, and I'll talk to you later.